Hello YouTube, this is Lauren Tutorials and welcome to your 31st GIMP tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install scripts, plugins, and brushes into GIMP. So let's get started. First, you're going to want to go open an internet browser and go wherever you're going to want to download this stuff. So I want to download these brushes right here, let's say. I went to deviantart.com, typed in GIMP brushes. I found these made by uh, Vira Cupis, I guess. I don't really know how to pronounce that, but credits to Vira Cupis for making this. So let's say I want to download this stuff. I'm going to click on download. This prompt will pop up. I'm going to click save and it'll appear in my downloads. So anyway, uh, those are downloaded already. I'm just going to exit out of there. I'll have a link to that in the description too. Now to install GIMP plugins and or scripts, what you're going to want to do is go into Google, type in GIMP plugin registry and you're going to get this website registry.gimp.org so you're going to want to go there for your GIMP plugins you can obviously go other places but um, you know just just be careful what you download because you might get a virus or something so once you're here you're going to want to click see the glossary and there are a ton of plugins and scripts you can choose to you can click which um, alphabetically you would like to get I know what I want I'm gonna do go to a add film grain made by somebody called EG this is a script it's not a plugin it's a script so it has a dot SCM extension to it so I'm gonna click on it and download that too good so now I, I have this window open over here too I guess so I already found another uh, plugin well, it's actually not another plugin, it's just a plugin because the other one wasn't a plugin, I suppose. But anyway, moving on, this is a plugin resynthesizer. I don't know how, how it works or what it does, but I know it's a plugin and I'm going to install it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on resynthesizer plugins for Windows because that's what I'm on. And this will download too. And they'll all be in my downloads right here. So, what I'm going to do. No, I don't want that. I want to put all of these on my desktop or wherever it doesn't really matter I'm gonna exit out of the internet browser so anyway you can see my impressively clean uh, desktop background that I totally didn't just put everything in this folder uh, anyway so these are zipped files so what I'm gonna want to do is unzip them I'm gonna click on extract all right here and then I will extract. I'm going to exit out of both of these. And then I'm going to want to go here. Same with the GIMP brushes that I downloaded. Extract. Exit out of both of them. So I'm just going to put all of these in the center so you can see them, I guess. Actually, I'm going to want them over here. Um, so one second. So you're going to want to go into GIMP. I have this all set up uh, beforehand. I want you to take note at uh, this right here, what you see right here, and go to filters, map, what you see right here, and then um, right over here. This will be uh, very, this is where I'm going to install the stuff, or where it will be installed, I should say. So I'm going to just show you before and after what GIMP will look like when you install this type of thing. You're going to want to go to edit preferences. Go down to folders, click the little plus sign. It's going to open up a bunch of stuff. Go to brushes or something or whatever. Uh, there should be a, a path right here on your hard drive with a check next to it. You're going to want to click up here. Control A to select everything. Control C to copy. Exit out of GIMP. Go to file explorer or something. I'm just going to put this over here. You're going to want to control V to paste. And right here if I move up a level you can see that I'm in the GIMP folder where I can drag and drop files into let's say the brushes folder if I wanted to install brushes same thing with plugins and scripts so I'm gonna install actually this will be pretty easy to explain I'm gonna go to the scripts folder now a script should have a .scm file extension to it um, at least the ones I've seen they might have different I'm not sure uh, some scripts may have different extensions, but anyway, I'm just going to drag and drop it in. Easy as that. I'm going to go to 
plugins and I'm gonna go to because resynthesizer is the plugin so I'm going to go to over here I'm not exactly sure um, both of these are .exe files I'm not sure which one worked I think only one worked when you drag and drop in I'm not sure though uh, or at least when I messed around with it it only one worked so I'm just gonna drag and drop both of them in there just to be safe I guess move that over there now I'm gonna install the brushes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the GIMP brushes that have been extracted go here and then I'm going to want to select all of the uh, GIMP brushes and the GIMP brushes should have a .gbr file extension so uh, these are all PNG you're not gonna want to drag and drop those in I don't believe you're gonna want to drag and drop these or copy them or whatever into this folder obviously there are more folders you can do the same thing with fonts I'm gonna close that out you can do the same thing with fonts or patterns or palettes or modules or levels or interpreters or you know you get the idea so I'm just gonna exit out then what I'm gonna do is restart GIMP now when I restart GIMP I'm just gonna put this super awesome uh, image in here you're going to see when I showed you the brushes dialog this uh, half moon and this and I don't believe that or that was actually in the brushes dialog this is because when I dragged and dropped those brushes in the .gbr files it actually loaded it into GIMP which is really nice now I can use it like a normal brush I guess now if I go to filters dot map I have a resynthesize option right here now why it's over here I, I don't know why the author of the plugin chose to make it go over there but if you want to know where your stuff will end up you should probably go to where they posted it and try to see if you can get a path throughout GIMP so it said filters slash map uh, slash resynthesize would be where to find it in the description of the plugin on the GIMP plugin registry website so uh, yeah you can open it up and I guess uh, you can do stuff I have no idea what it does but it doesn't matter because I just all I wanted to do was install it and you can also go to filters and there's an EG um, thing right here which wasn't here before it was just alpha to logo and then Python foo so now you have EG and you have an option to add a film grain which I'm gonna do and yeah that's how you install and use brushes and plugins and scripts in GIMP I hope this helped you and let me see yeah you can see it's kind of doing a lot of stuff in the background I'm just gonna wait for this to end okay so control Z is before and control Y is afterwards really cool I hope this helped you this is going to be my last GIMP tutorial and uh, yeah it's my last one I guess I'm I'm probably gonna post only a couple more non-related videos this year and then completely end all activity on this channel I may or may not answer questions in the comments but honestly I um, I don't know I'm just glad I got this series done um, it's really a nice thing I guess um, thank God it's done I really am glad it's done as you can tell so anyway let me see I wasn't crying just so I had a cold I have a cold so yeah I guess that's it I kind of feel weird ending this video because I'm gonna say see you in the next one but there won't be a next one which is neat so yeah I hope you guys have a nice time messing around in this photo editing software I would say this is kind of the point in the series where like you stop watching my videos and you kind of get to install plugins on your own and watch uh, tutorials for that plugin or read up on that stuff and it's just an endless world of um, installing custom programs and scripts onto your computer so that's really nice so yeah it's not just limited to uh, this stuff in here you can install a whole bunch of stuff so yeah I'm, I'm kind of stretching this video out longer than it needs to be so have a nice day hope this helps goodbye Okay, one last thing. I forgot to mention this guy, B-O-O-T-C-H-K, for making the resynthesizer plugin. So, yeah, that's who made this plugin. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, 
Bye.